don't ever go this way. I think I'm gonna... I have never been down this street before. <laughs> Pretty cool. As I've mentioned uh, previously, if I'm just tooling around the neighborhood, I usually take my backrest and my windshield off because I've got a super sleek bike underneath there. And uh, yeah, here's a look at it. There we go. Got my helmet on properly, got my gloves on. Um, yeah, again, without my jacket, this is highly unusual. But it is so freaking hot out right now. Last time I just didn't have the jacket because I was uh, rushing out, going to pick up my wife. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it just seemed uh, kind of stupid for me to go rushing back to the house when I was already in a hurry to go get her. But, today, just taking a quick trip out to the bank, really didn't have any sort of topic or anything, just uh, figure, take the bike instead of the cage. So we'll do that. I must say, when it's hot out here like this, it's actually pretty nice to just have uh, have the wind hit you. But of course, I'm not going very far. Otherwise, I would totally want to have my uh, have my jacket, have my Kevlar on. Or if I was getting on the highway, I'd definitely want to have my windshield on. Uh, I'm really getting the idea of uh, what the windshield is all about. So I never used to like them. I mean on other people's bikes, you know, I mean, no big deal, but for me, I don't know, it, I used to think it took away from, from the aesthetic of the bike, but now, now I'm like, yeah, man, I totally get it. Anyway... Going to enjoy a nice, comfortable ride. I don't think I've ever taken you guys this way, so, uh, yeah, nothing special. You just get to have a quick look at where I am. And our traffic. A lot of people talk about bad drivers in New York, and uh, I will admit there are quite a number of them, but uh, I don't know. What do you think about where you are? How bad do they get? Like, I've seen some 
of the uh, YouTube videos out there. I usually don't watch the uh, the fail videos and the crash videos because yeah, I really don't want that on my mind. But uh, as far as you know, where you guys ride, let me just open up my vents here. Forgot to open them. But as far as where you guys ride. How bad are the drivers around you? I mean, do you have, like, a whole lot of bad drivers and a couple of them that just make you not want to give up? Or is it more of the fact that there are uh, a few of them out there that just get on your nerves and they just happen to be the ones you focus on? Because it's not too horrible over here. Of course, I really don't ride in the city proper. Because honestly, I just hop on the train and I can get anywhere I want to go. Although even that's starting to get expensive. I remember when I could get on the bus or the train for like... 50 cents, 75 cents, now it's like 250. And of course you do get transfers here. So if you're hopping from one bus to a train or from a train to a bus, you know, you get a free transfer and you can get where you're going. Not so much if you're going somewhere and then coming back along the same route. That doesn't work. But yeah, how bad are your drivers? I'm going to keep my eye out on this ride, even though it's not a very long ride. See what I can find. See what I see. Of course, I'm always keeping my eye out because I don't want them aiming at me. I want to make it home. Fun little turn. I like riding through some of these uh, residential areas where the co-ops are. Well, cause even though I probably wouldn't want to live in them myself because I like the idea of owning my property and being able to walk all the way around my property. Sometimes they're just so pretty to look at. Some of them are kept up really well. ain't from around here so I'll uh, I'll let that slide a little like I said short ride it's gonna head over to my bank which is right there Bank of America. Here we go. 
turkey spot. <sighs> and I'll be back in a bit. I never could find an easy way out of here. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try a direction that I have not gone before and see if it works for me. Yep, that does it. I'm gonna pop over to the store before I head home. Just because it feels too nice to just go home. I mean, I know I've got work to do. But I'm actually pretty well ahead of where I need to be, so. Yeah, why not take a little time to enjoy being out in the sunshine? Especially since it's hot outside and I love the heat. I think this is the first time you guys have seen me ride this without the, uh, the windshield and the backrest on. So what I'll do at the end of this is uh, I'll give you guys a good look at what she looks like without it. And you know, you'll start to understand what I dig so much about my Indian. It's nice over here. two-way street. And, and getting a phone call. Let's see who it is. Hello? Um, everything should be okay. I am actually just pulling up to my block right now. Okay. And the rear door, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. just want you to be aware the rear door just tripped 1230. Okay. I actually just pulled into my uh, driveway right now, so I'm going to go check that out. Um, okay. I have a feeling I know who it is. So, sure. so if you want to stay on the line. Sure. Uh, So there we go. Um, got a phone call <laughs> in the middle of filming that my uh, burglar alarm went off. Of course, I didn't see anybody in or around the house, and I'm pretty sure it was just the back door being blown open by the wind or something, but uh, I'm kind of glad they called. Let's me know everything is, is working properly. Any hoozle. This is my bike without the extra. Yeah, check it out. How, co how cool is that? Windshield is gone, making really nice curves. The backrest allows the curve to continue. And it's freaking, it's freaking fantastic. It takes seconds. People are talking like, oh yeah, it takes like 30 seconds. It took me four. It was one, two, three, four. That was it. Four seconds to take off the windshield. 
four, three seconds to take off the backrest, you know. I haven't taken off the bags yet because I love my bags and I want to keep them on there. I am purposely bleaching them out a bit so that I can dye them again and get them nice and dark. But yeah, it looks good. It looks so good. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but at some point soon what I want to do is get some real flames painted up here and along here. And underneath where it says vintage, I'll have War Machine written in real flame. Do it just a little bit on the tank here, have War Machine underneath here. And then I'm thinking about little real flame accent here and then coming down in the back here. And I might just put, I might just put War Machine right here. Or maybe I'll put my name, well, my name's already on the license plate. Who knows? Love this bike. Absolutely love this bike. So, for those of you who are still on the fence and still thinking about getting an Indian, do it. Do it. You'll be glad you did. All right, this is Beast Rider signing out. I'm home. I'm hungry. Go get me some lunch. Ride safe. Stay classy. Humans are yeah. the stupidest people.